everyone and welcome to Tea Time with Tradonna. I praise God that you have decided to join in with me today, whether it is this month of April or later on within this year or even next year, 2023, the Lord has led you here to this YouTube channel. So I praise God for you. Please take this time to like, subscribe and share just as I give you a little bit um, of background about what Tea Time is. So Tea Time was birthed during the pandemic where literally I was watching so much reality television, have been watching so much reality TV for so many years. Um, we keep the TV on all day, all night, and literally where one night the television was on a reality show, and I was um, like shaking out of my sleep, and the Lord spoke to me so clearly saying, look to me, stop looking at this reality TV, look to me, see what the T is, I praise God for that. So the T um, stands for um, teaching, encouragement, and an assignment, usually by way of instructions. Again, so that's what tea time is. So I praise God for this month of April. And what the Holy Spirit said was, be encouraged, it's not raining over here. Praise God. Hallelujah. So again, tea time is this acronym that actually wasn't given unto me after the Lord's time told me to start tea time and where really just to have people to come in, um, gather the women together. We began like gathering like in my Facebook chat room. We've met in person and it's just really such a blessing where women come together. But there's also tea is for men as well. So I thank God for that. And he has, he has me to um, to share the tea is again, first he started with me through teaching. Um, so he had me meditate or um, focus on a scripture and um, just really do some studying. And I, a lot of times as I'm reading the Bible, I'll say, okay, Lord, is this for me or is this for the tea? So where he had me go for um, this month, um, as I was just going through all through the month of March, just looking, literally, I live in the Midwest in Illinois. There was so much rain. It was raining like almost every day um, throughout the month of March. And this is like towards the beginning of April has been raining so much. And one day I heard the Lord clearly say, it is not raining over here. So I praise God for that. Hallelujah. Um, and I went into prayer about these words um, just to understand like what exactly what the Lord was saying. And literally uh, where we have seen rain coming down where it's been like a, a negative um, effect with the rain um, is stopping traffic, stopping things. Uh, but we will be able to say it is not raining over here. Hallelujah. Um, and I was just looking, okay, Lord, where do you want me to go for this teaching part? And in the beginning of the month, every first three days of the month, I do a corporate fast. And um, the per person over had us reading the book of Exodus. Hallelujah. Uh, where I really, that is where I really received what um, I should be sharing and teaching for this month of April. So I praise God and just be, being encouraged in this teaching. I pray that you guys are as well. But as the different plagues that were sent to Egypt and the Egyptians, uh, they felt the brunt of the plagues. Literally, none of the Israelites were affected. So just reading throughout this book of Exodus so opened my eyes and to see exactly how God, again, allowed things to affect the Egyptians, but had no effect on the um, Israelites. So um, I went to Exodus 9, 24 and 26, and this is what the Holy Spirit told me to share. And it reads, hail fell and lightning flashed back and forth. It was the worst storm in all of the land of Egypt since it had become a nation. Throughout Egypt, hail struck everything in the fields, both people and animals. It beat down everything growing in the fields and stripped every tree. The only place it did not hail was the land of Goshen, where the Israelites were. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord God. Praise God. So the hail that was falling literally was like the seventh plague. So in reading the book of Exodus, I was in such awe again, not like I have not studied this before, or have not read it, but just really um, this past month, Exodus was really opened up to me even that more clearly where literally I wanted to sit and eat like popcorn while I was reading it because it was just so good. So I praise God for his word. I love reading, but the Bible is just amazing. 
Um, so in looking at this, I was just like, man, like Pharaoh, like I knew how this story ends, right? But I was just looking like, man, Pharaoh will continue to see like these plagues that God would send. Even the first one with the bloody Nile. And as even reading this, I was like, wow, again, just humbled by how God does. And again, looking at myself and just re reading this and I saw where like after that, even that first plague and I imagine like, um, cause it said like, um, it stank. So I sat there and imagined like, okay, the fish dying, all these things just dead. And that, that, that awful stench that was just, it had to be just so disgusting. But again, just wondered and uh, trying to just imagine, did not even the Israelites not even smell all these different things that were going on from plague to plague. And I believe God is that amazing that they did not. Hallelujah. So again, imagining like a hail and rainstorm and, and a fire in Egypt already. Again, this is a place that hardly ever sees rain. Uh, but even in that, that the Israelites were not affected at all. It literally did not rain over in the land of Goshen where the Israelites were. Praise God. So I was praying about this and the Holy Spirit said that there will be rain. But just as I covered the Israelites in the land of Goshen, you will be able to say it's not raining over here. Uh, hallelujah. Even in reading this and studying, the Holy Spirit reminded me of Elijah who prayed earnestly for it not to rain. That's um, James 5 and 17, where Elijah, uh, where it says, Elijah was a human being, even as we are. He prayed earnestly that it would not rain and it did not rain on the land for three and a half years. James says that Elijah was a man just like us. A lot of times we may feel um, like some of the people in the Bible just have these supernatural um, healing um, anointings and things like that. Uh, but again, it literally took just the kind of faith that Elijah had um, to really pray and just say the things that God has said and spoken. And it literally, literally did not rain for three and a half years. Hallelujah. So again, we will be covered at just like the people, um, the Israelites that were inside of Goshen, they were covered. God will cover us. When we see the things that are going to be happening, uh, we see the things that are happening in the land, the things that God has revealed to us that will continue to happen across the world. Be encouraged knowing that you will be covered, um, by the blood, just like he covered them in Goshen and that we can speak things like Elijah and that we can declare things, especially when things we see are wicked. Praise God that we can declare things and he will stop even the rain. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank God. God. I'm um, again, always excited to pray about um, how do I encourage the people of God in just this season where we're seeing so many different things happening, uh, where we may um, sometimes even, you know, lose sight of what is and who is God. Um, I always pray and ask the Lord, how can I encourage the people? And um, again, that's the second part of the T. So again, it's teaching, encouragement. So I praise God. I am just here to stand and encourage you that with the reminder again, that the year 2022, the Holy Spirit said, that this year is a year of double discernment praise god and again as we are looking again through this month of april and knowing again be encouraged that no matter what we see regardless of this downpour of rain all around us the lord told me to tell you i provide for you again he took me back and reminded me just like an exodus just like the manna that fell from heaven I pour out your knees, okay? Praise God. And um, literally how the Holy Spirit deals with me in, is in words. So I'm an English teacher. So I was like, okay, this should um, this be will pour, poured, hallelujah. Um, the Lord told me to say, pour and um and just a quick little lesson pour where i say it like this um, i pour out that again is present that's a present tense so uh, what the holy spirit said to me and to have to share with you um that i i pour out present tense meaning i am your present help hallelujah what he told me to tell the people of god be encouraged is that help is here right now hallelujah no more thinking like help is on the way help is coming help is here right now hallelujah help is here thank you lord god praise god we are thankful that help is here then the holy spirit said to ask you all this question is there anything too hard for me hallelujah is there anything too hard for me 
so encouraging because we know there is nothing that is too hard for God. Jeremiah 32 and 27 says, I am the Lord, the God of all the peoples of the world. Is there anything too hard for me? So again, as we're seeing everything that's happening where things may look impossible, we know there is nothing impossible, nothing, no one um, supersedes God, nothing is impossible with God. Ask ourselves that question, is there anything too hard for God? And we can always say, no, there is nothing too hard for God. Be encouraged knowing that nothing is too hard for him. Thank you, Lord God. I just thank God again. I'm always excited about what he wants me to encourage the people with. Um, so again, I, I say that I was watching so much reality TV, just like glued to the television. So I am not surprised that when I've cut the TV off, the Lord has literally shown me things like um, by way where things look like a, a, um, a show or a movie or something to me. So uh, not just as more so just like visions, but that's how I would describe the visions or the things that I see. So um, as I was sitting uh, one day, I saw uh, like these doors that were um, suspended um, and it looked like they were just, you know, just doors suspended hanging from air from the from mid air and you like would have to like go through there where they created almost like a maze or like a, a, a um, something like it looks like a, a crate a madhouse or, or one of those fun houses or something like that uh, and as I look closer um, at the doors I know that they were not just suspended they are like in mid air but they were literally hanging like from something like um, a twine or wire that you may see like in a, on a movie set hallelujah um again okay so they um they were you had to look closely but they were not suspended just in midair they were literally hanging on um this this wire so i um praise god then literally i saw the doors were being cut down hallelujah thank you lord god um so i went into prayer about this vision um and what the lord has shown me um, and the holy spirit said doors will fall and the people of god will step over them hallelujah thank you lord god um, he is cutting down doors out of our ways um, he said be sure um, to say that these doors are not being knocked down or open but literally i am cutting doors as the illusion so these are doors that are illusions that are um, literally where he said i'm cutting down the illusions out of your path hallelujah so as we see doors and things that look like they're blocking us we know those are just illusions that the lord will cut down for us to step right over praise god hallelujah thank you lord god so we will pray earnestly and believing that again there is no rain here and that help is here he's cutting down doors we thank you lord god for what he's doing in this season I thank him. Um, next comes our um, assignment and the Lord literally gives me this by way of instructions. Um, again, like I said, I'm a, a teacher by trade. This is what I do um, on my nine to five. So I just love how God, again, takes the things that we do on the natural and uses those things in the spirit, uh, spiritual. So again, um, he always gives me like the assignment to share with the people and with specific instructions. So I thank God for instructions. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Lord God. So again, our first instruction, again, that we are going to be on this assignment for the month of April, where he said, sound the alarm. Hallelujah. Sound the alarm. Um, he had me to type in and put this in quotes. So this is exactly what he said. There is a time to speak out against grievous things hallelujah there will be a time when we must speak out against grievous things where we have to sound the alarm raise our voices like a trumpet and do not allow just these things that are happening where we just say nothing or um, do nothing literally more so saying things that we have to speak out against grievous things that we know things that are grieving the holy spirit spirit that we know things that again that uh, do not agree or line up with the word of god we we have to sound the alarm hallelujah thank you Lord God so the next thing he said right after sound the alarm he had me write down the word quietness so I was like okay guy if you're saying sound the alarm get quiet uh, you know help me to make sure I can explain this to the people exactly what you will have us to do and in this he said get in a quiet space 
space and quiet your face. So literally like close your mouth. And I, I, for, so for this, one of those times like, okay, Laura, is this just for me or is this some tea? Because I know a lot of times I need to just quiet my mouth and just listen. But he said to share this with the people of God. So again, get in a quiet space and quiet your face, hallelujah. And how this connects with sounding the alarm, the Holy Spirit said, as you sound the alarm, you will know when and where as you have received instructions in your silence hallelujah so as we sit in that space as we make room just for the lord and yourselves and the lord and i as we just prepare a table just to sit and just sit with him to sit with god and listen to those instructions that's when we will know when to sound the alarm so again sit in this space get in his presence and just sit there quietly to listen for instructions hallelujah thank you lord god praise god um another instruction and you know sometimes i'm a little like okay lord i don't know if um i should share this you know just uh being in my own self and just you know wonder what people will think but literally one day i was holding uh, my cell phone and just heard, heard so clearly um being care that the holy spirit said about being careful about the business that we conduct on our cell phones hallelujah that's um all he said but uh, with the business we conduct on our cell phones uh where it's like you know paying bills um, our accounts and things like that, just being very careful with the things that we're doing on our cell phones. So even that the instruction is cover our phones, cover uh, those things because we take our phones with us everywhere. So making sure that we are covering our phones with the blood um, that, you know, any against any attacks and uh, anything that will come against our phones. Uh, we're going to be praying and covering our cell phones in the name of Jesus, knowing again that everything attached to us is covered with the blood. Praise God. Hallelujah. Again, the instructions have definitely increased um, over this um, just about a year. I've been doing the YouTube video, so I'm thankful that the Lord does give these assignments and his instructions. Um, and sometimes he tells me keep um, some of these instructions in like uh, for a few months. And this was one I believe I shared last month, but um, he talked to me about war words. Hallelujah. Uh, where we know um, where he was saying to me what is happening in the natural. So we're seeing like wars and these rumors of wars that are happening uh, that we can use these same things in the spirit. Hallelujah. So uh, where a war is going on, they literally call a ceasefire. Hallelujah. So we can say these same things in the name of Jesus, in the spirit, as we are uh, seeing demonic attacks, as we are seeing different attacks spiritually, we can declare cease fire. Hallelujah. We can declare back up. We can declare retreat. Hallelujah to all evil in the land, especially with the things that he said with worshiping idols this month. With uh, worshiping idols, we are again saying cease fire to those things in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Again, with this, um, the war words and being able to again to just know that he's going to be speaking to us in that quiet time. He said to remind everyone to stay repenting and to continue to walk in humility, uh, humility, especially praying um, against uh, the spirit of pride, like that thing where, oh, I know something. He's telling me these things. But again, he's saying these things because he trusts you to share with you. And again, that's again, Proverbs 16 and 18, where it says pride goes before destruction. So we come against any spirit of pride. Again, anything where again, God shows us things and we take that and use um, and, and that becomes pride within us. So we come against that and we'll continue to always walk in humility and just being thankful that he's sharing things with us so that we may know what to do and what not to do. Hallelujah. Um, then the Lord said, uh, and this next instruction was to be careful with our words. Hallelujah. Almost like literally watch everything that you're saying where the, there's a scripture that says being slow to speak. Hallelujah. Um, with this instruction, he took me back to um, Elijah where um, and told me to put this down to share as Elijah was a man that asked me to stop rain what shall you ask in your righteousness that I shall not do for my glory? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So this is exactly what the Holy Spirit said. And even in that, um, he highlighted the word righteousness to me as he was speaking that, um, saying again, uh, righteousness doesn't mean being 
ethical um, in the word of God. We are doing things right by the word of God. We're even just a reminder again that Elijah spoke and decreed that there will be no rain. Then there wasn't for three and a half years. And then when even after he spoke back to God and he believed that the rain was coming, he was able to say, I hear the sound of rain coming because he believed in God. He spoke these things and it happened. He decreed these things and it happened. So again, as we stand in righteousness, as we stand on the word of God, we are to be careful with everything that we let come out of our mouths because there is power in our tongues, being slow to speak, praise God, and watching literally everything that we're saying, believing that again, as we call things to happen, that it shall be done in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Um, again, another instruction that the Lord has me to leave in from the past uh, few months where he's been saying uh, covering your cars. Praise God that we cover our cars with the blood of Jesus. Um, just a quick testimony um, with the small group that I meet with. Um, a lady um, did have um, a, a car accident uh, where the, the young man just got out and ran away. So, uh, but she was just totally covered uh, with the blood, uh, got out, uh, walked away from that accident. And this was shortly after we had shared about making sure our cars were covered. So I thank the Lord God for these instructions. And we just wanted to make sure that we uh, plead the blood of Jesus over our cars. I said over your uh, family's cars, the Holy Spirit said, every car that you're riding in, even anything that you're getting off is a uh, boat, plane, whatever, cover with the blood of Jesus. There has literally been um, where uh, demons have been released to literally like just uh, run rampant on um, expressways, highways. So cover your cars. Um, that's where they are. So we know and we're covered with the blood of Jesus. Um, so we thank God for that. Praise God. Thank you, Lord God. We also will continue to walk the floors of our homes. Um, where the Holy Spirit said, walking the floors, um, that means um, going up and down your, um, your stairs, your basement, the living room, wherever your entire home, walking those floors, um, covering your home with the blood of Jesus, covering everything in your home. Um, this time it really was like the inside of our homes. I know a lot of times we will uh, cover the doorposts and things, but literally walk the floors of your home so that it may be covered with the blood. Every square inch of your home covered with the blood of Jesus. Again, continue to walk the floors of your home. Praise God. Hallelujah. So um, I'm very thankful that the Lord does really deal with me with uh, words. I love words. I love, like I said, I'm an English teacher, so I love words, learning new words. And um, this was a word I had heard before, but this came again with the instructions. The Holy Spirit had me put this word down was the word pestilence. Praise God, pestilence. And in looking this up, I just was like, you know, oh, Lord. Um, you know, what is going on? Um, it's just, again, this word means a, a fatal epidemic, um, a disease. And I was like, okay, Lord, I know we have just come through um, COVID-19. Um, so Lord, what are you um, doing this season? Um, and just knowing that, again, that biblically, when we think about uh, pestilence, what it is, it incorporates mass destruction um, and often um, partners with famine. So again, we are praying um, against pestilence. Um, literally where I heard um, mosquitoes and flies um, again but as we're praying for this we remember again where the Holy Spirit said even though this word is pestilence these are things that are to come hallelujah but he said remind the people it's not raining over here hallelujah so the things that we see that pestilence it's not raining over here hallelujah uh, where we know um, that Psalms 91 uh, was um, said and read so many times during when the pandemic first hit. Um, but he took me again back to Psalms 91, 5 and 6. Again, that says, You will not fear the terror of night, nor the arrow that flies by day, nor the pestilence that stalks in darkness, nor destruction that wastes at noonday. Hallelujah. So we do not live in a spirit of fear. God has given us power and a strong mind, hallelujah. So again, we know it is not raining over here. Praise God, no matter what we see, the destruction, the famine that we are seeing, 
we know it is not raining over here thank you okay Anna. final instruction again is our assignment list i know is very long but i thank god again for instructions and this one he's had me to keep in for the last few months but we're going to continue to pray about global tensions um where i literally again saw this pulling it was like a tightness almost looked to me like um laffy taffy or you pull laffy taffy and and there's like this this thinning there so um this uh pulling across the oceans uh, that created even more tension so we are going to continue to lift up nations around the world where even i i was um led to share instructions with if you're um waking up in the middle of the night like uh, for a while it kept getting awake up and it was literally at 3:44. so um, I looked in to see like what time was that um, in another time zone literally and um, the Holy Spirit had me to pray for that nation so again as you're um, awakening in the middle of the night check the time zone just see um, the what nation is like where it's literally daylight there and pray for that nation so again um, that is across the ocean so we're praying for this tension that is uh, continuing to happen across the oceans and we believe God, we trust God over everything. Thank you, Lord God. Praise God. I'm just so thankful for April's tea. I'm thankful for what the Lord is doing. I think I thank him for just being who he is. Um, I know there are so many things going on, but again, we trust God. We believe God. So again, Father God, I just thank you for everyone that's come um, in and listened, Lord God, for this month of April, Lord God. I thank you, Lord God. We just worship you. We praise you, Lord God. Um, continue to, Lord God, just, just could pour um, your spirit on us, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, Lord God, forgive us for anything, Lord God, that is not like you, Lord God, uh, continue to push us and press us, Lord God, and to even show us ourselves, Lord God. So we just thank you. We praise you. We lift you up, Lord God. We believe, Lord God, that it is not raining over here, Lord God, Jesus, no matter everything that we're going to see, everything that we are seeing in the war that's happening, Lord God, we trust you. We stand on your word, knowing that you, you said you have never seen the righteous forsaken or his seed begging for bread lord god so continue to cover us as you did the israelites that were in goshen lord god continue to cover us with your blood lord god jesus that we won't even uh feel any effect of anything that's happening lord god jesus we trust you we we'll believe you and we always praise you lord god cover us with the blood of jesus we thank you lord god amen hallelujah so again i just thank you lord for what he's doing i thank you god for what he's going to do for each of us lord god um, i so enjoy sharing the tea uh, that he gives me again the teaching the encouragement and the assignment with all the instructions lord god we thank you that we will not be ignorant concerning any of satan's devices why because the lord speaks to us speaks to us and he wants to let his children know exactly what to do and how to move so we praise god and we thank god for the real tea hallelujah have a blessed month i'll see you soon